Well, it was just another typical day here at the end of March in Broome County and into the southern tier where we saw cloudy skies and the scattered you know, sprinkles, flurries that we saw especially later on this afternoon, earlier this evening. Now a lot of that is dissipating as we do have a nice area of high pressure working its way into our region, drying things out, calming things down. And of course, we definitely like that after what we have been dealing with the last couple of days. I know many of you just want spring already. Well, I can tell you this, we will have a taste of it this weekend. Temperatures not too bad right now. We're at 37 degrees in downtown Binghamton, 37 in Owego, Sarah at 38, Tawanda 39 degrees, Norwich 36. And as far as the future cast temperatures, well, here's our taste of winter tomorrow morning. We will be starting, or excuse me, taste of spring. We don't want winter anymore. We want spring. Tomorrow morning, we will be starting off in about the upper 20s, but then we will be quickly warming up into the mid and upper 40s for most of us as we will have plenty of sunshine and it won't really take a whole lot for us to warm right up. So, of course, the sun we definitely want to see that. I know I definitely do. So here's these clear skies just off to the west. Here's the area of high pressure that's off here. And that will be giving us nice sunny skies for tomorrow. A few high clouds are possible with this. But otherwise, it'll be a lot nicer than what we had been seeing the last couple of days. Now, as this area of high pressure moves off to the east of us, now notice the direction of the arrows. That's the way that the winds will be. And notice by Sunday, it'll be off to our east and with the, the arrows are coming out of the south and west. That means warmer temperatures. Yeah, that's why we will be getting into the upper 40s and near 50 by Sunday, which will be very, very nice. But taking a look off to the west, though, over here, this is our next system, and that's what will, what, what will be impacting us for later on Sunday. And actually, it's been causing quite a ruckus out in Oklahoma, Nebraska, even some tornado reports in Nebraska earlier today, earlier this evening. And there was even hail reported as much as two and a half inches. That's golf ball size hail for some and then for the two and a half that's tennis ball that's pretty big that was a lot of hail now not dissipating severe weather by the time it reaches our region thank goodness because i don't think we're ready for that just yet we are still dealing with a couple of clouds especially just off to the west over near Elmira, up towards Watkins Glen and even in towards Ithaca. We could be seeing a brief shower passing through here in the next couple hours, but notice the clouds have really been clearing out and we will continue that trend heading into tomorrow. HD Futurecast, you can see by tomorrow afternoon, lots of sunshine, not a lot of clouds out there. Should be a very nice day for tomorrow if you have any outdoor plans or plan to do anything outside as far as walking the dog or doing some yard work. It'll be a very nice day for this, especially with the sun and a lot of winds. It will feel very, very nice. Early on Easter morning, so far pretty good. We are staying dry until the uh, later in the afternoon. Notice by dinner time. So if you have Easter egg hunt, do it in the morning. So brunch, you'll be dry. For dinner, you're going to need your umbrella because we will start to run the risk of seeing those showers. Notice the yellow, that is the heavier rain. And that will get into us later, most likely after midnight, Sunday night into early Monday morning. And then behind this, we could be dealing with the mixed precipitation as temperatures will be dipping down. For tonight, 28 degrees. Any of the flurries and, and sprinkles will start to taper tomorrow. Near 50 degrees, not too bad, mostly sunny skies. And tomorrow night, we'll be dipping down to near freezing, fair skies. We'll be right back at the five day. So again, for Easter Sunday, the morning drive, we will see the rain later in the day in the evening hours overnight. Monday, temperatures cooling down to the lower 40s. That could give us a few mixed precipitation, and that will be lingering into Tuesday, Wednesday with lake effect. Temperatures cooling back down into the 30s, but you don't see this, but we will be ending the week on a warm note. So stay tuned the next couple of days, and we'll see those pop up on the five-day.